You know, creativity is not meant to be prescriptive. And I think that's one thing to be thoughtful about when you're wanting to sort of have an initiative towards more innovation and creativity. The more that you define or, or put a label around this, this is our creative time. I think you're kind of undoing the point. Rather, um, maybe put up some loose constructs, give people flex time, for example, during the work week, where they can schedule as it works for them uh, some time to to carve out to be creative in process approach in product development in system improvement sort of give ideas in general around the kind of creativity that you're looking for uh, and then let them sort of schedule their own time it keeps you from having to micromanage and therefore put restraints on creativity and innovation. Uh, I have watched organizations do this. Uh, and so I'm speaking firsthand uh, where, you know, the intention is really good. We want to encourage the creativity that we know, right, is really helpful for our organizations. But we put it into a box and then tell people, this is your creative time. You know, let that be your outlet. Ah, I think we, what we want to cultivate really is a creativity culture. Um, and that isn't just going to happen in a one hour block that you schedule on a Friday from, you know, three to 4 p.m. Let it be less like that and more open ended so that the individual contributor can figure out what what are the um, loose, loose constraints around how I can approach creativity at the workplace. This is John Baldino, president of Fuma Research.